So as we start to head into the second quarter of 2022, I'm really starting to think about what my planner lineup is going to look like. Hey everyone, I am Julie. So today is gonna to be kind of a chatty video. Like I'm not going to have any sort of earth shattering planner lineup epiphany by the end of this video. It's more just like a chit chat. So if you wanna grab some coffee, hot cocoa, tea, wine, whatever you want, let's sit down and chat about where my mind is at currently with what I'm needing out of a planner system, my current season of life, what I've been using, what I'm thinking of using. I haven't really made any solid decisions, but I thought that it was be, it would be kind of fun to share my thoughts on different things that I have used. So let's start with weekly and goal setting. So I've been trying quite a few things for a little bit and I don't know. I know for a fact that for the Moxie Life, I am definitely going to keep the flagship as part of my lineup. This just sort of feels like home to me as excited as I was and still continue to be about the new offerings that they have had this year. Um, this one for some reason I always come back to specifically for my goal setting. And over the last couple of weeks, I've really turned to it for my memory keeping and like journaling and stuff like more so once like go wild um happened because i was like i really want a place to put all of these things i don't feel like my weekly is the place for that um i just i love this so much i have like one more entry to make that i kind of like saved on my phone and i'm gonna add that here in a little bit but this was just so fun like i even have a note from laura here with a picture of her underneath because i thought that was like too cute but um i just really like that and i've even done a lot of my weekly um actions in here as well the reflections part i've honestly let that go for a little bit just because i was just in a place where I was like, I know I still need to do monthly goal setting. I don't know about the weekly parts of it. Um, I don't use the monthly in here because I just really haven't figured out a purpose for it. But as far as like the goal setting goes in here, I did a lot of it in my verticals. So I had like my annual goals and things like that set up here. If you watched my setup video for all of that, I did start out in here and then I eventually tried moving things over to the vertical Moxie Life. And then the goal setting was also in the daily, which I have over here. I have an EC cover on it. I like destroyed my cover that was on here for Moxie Life. I dropped it like 5 million times. A corner of it got wet. It started to fall apart. I was like, I need a new cover. Anyway, um, so there's goal setting in here. There's goal setting in here. There's goal setting in here. And I knew that I needed to keep it in one space. So that one space for me is going to be in the flagship because I know that I will at least at the very least visit this once a week, right? Because I'm going to be journaling in here. I'm doing my memory keeping. So that's where I'm kind of at with that. So goal setting and memory keeping are going to continue to stay in here. I actually um, forward planned a little bit some goals for April. I've kind of just been doing it on post-it notes until I figure out what the heck April is going to look like. <laughs> um, but this is where I'm at with this. I started in the vertical as far as weekly um, planning goes in the vertical moxie life. And I do love it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just kind of wanted to change it up. I always feel like this happens to me at like the three month mark with any planner. I start to get the itch to want to try something else. <laughs> and that's just really where I'm at. I'm like, I will try something else as long as I have a place for my goal setting and all of like the weekly reflections for Moxie Life and things like that. Cause I just wasn't doing it in here. I kept going back to the flagship. So, and I definitely wasn't doing it in my daily. The good thing is, is that I feel less guilty about putting this on the shelf because it is undated. Like I can switch out the tab um, labels if I want to, because they do include tab um, stickers there those types of things, and then pick it right back up if I'm like, oh, this other system isn't working and I can jump right back into it. There's still, let's see, I use this for three months. So there's still another three months in this book, which is so great about undated planners. Now, I also jumped on the train of trying the Plum Paper Vertical Priorities in the A5. And I have like 
a like dislike <laughs> with this planner um, mainly because I love this size but I would also love to use it in 7x9 but the 7x9 vertical priorities from Plum Paper has all kinds of shading like I have so many issues with the color on the pages um, that I was like Ugh. so let me show you a blank week in the A5, you really only have to worry about the lines being a color. That's not a big deal. I like to use like date covers and things like that like this week. I mean, this is so cute. Look at how cute this is. But I also know that I can't get tied up into this looks cute right now, but does it actually work for me from week to week? So there are some things that are missing from this planner that I don't particularly care for. I don't like their dashboard page, never have. It's just, Something I wish that they would reconsider, like a little redesign of. I think it's been the same for quite some time. Um, I know a lot of people have reached out and said that they don't like the duplicate weeks, but again, that's because you can pick this planner to start at any time. So there has to be a duplicate week in there. That's just that's just how it works. Um, other than that, the paper quality is great. The stickers and washi are now working in here. Everything looks cute, but I still feel like a little too smushed in here. So I think that for the time being, um, and I'm not saying I will never touch this again. You guys know that I never say never. Um, I just think for now this isn't going to be like my go-to, if that makes sense. It's just not going to be... Um, the thing for me. Well, I pick it up every now and then and be like, oh, look at this fun planner. Or look at how I did this spread. Absolutely. All right. So then comes in the seven by nine life planner that I jumped back into. And I mean, as cliche and as cheesy as it sounds, I have no idea why I have two bookmarks in here. Um, it felt like I was coming back to the thing that really clicked for me with planning from the very, very beginning. Um, and one of the things being the monthly layout this month, because I had just jumped back into it was literally me trying to see if I could use the monthly layout for strictly, um, content planning. I'm not going to do that. I need a separate planner for content just because I need the additional space for, projects with different brands, income, expenses, notes for videos, like pre-production types of things and even post-production types of things. Um, so this was not going to work for me. So in April, I'm going to go back to using it um, in the regular way that I've done my monthly planner. Now the dashboard page in this planner is what I really, really, really love. Um, I will be changing it up when I don't have my content in here anymore. That's still left to be decided. Um, if you guys have watched me for any amount of time, I used a EC monthly deluxe for like a couple of years for my content planning and that worked. Then I tried something else and then something else and then something else and it hasn't exactly worked out how I wanted to. Um, I got this idea from KDK Plans to use like a uh, Moxie Life Reflections sticker kit on this page. I will say that when this page was introduced to the Life Planner um, layout, at first I was like, I don't really know if I can vibe with this. I've had difficulties with dashboard pages. I really like this type of setup where it's kind of like a recap of the whole month and I really, really love that. And I think that once I take this content part out of it, I can kind of this can all be together for a whole monthly reflection situation in here. Um, the layouts, uh, the layout, I, I love the layout of this planner. It's similar obviously to other planners as well. So, but between the layout and the paper and the dashboard and the monthly view and the interchangeable covers, I think that this will be the weekly for now until I change my mind again. <laughs> in like three months. I, I Who knows, right? I always leave the door open for trying new and other things. So that's where I'm at with this. Also, the Eddie V covers are literally everything. So in come the dailies, right? So I started to really struggle with dailies uh, recently because as stupid as it sounds, I just got ridiculously busy to where I couldn't even pick up a daily planner. I was just picking up a notepad or using the notes app in my phone to quickly jot down like four or five things that needed to get done for the day. I do rely heavily on digital planning for work and I've also sort of leaned in, leaned into it a little bit for my content planning in a way just because it's just a less one less thing I have to keep up with paper-wise. So 
And that's kind of where I've struggled with it daily. It's not the Moxie Life specifically. I like never struggle with this system at all. I really love it. So just daily planning in general, I've been trying to figure out if I just need to take a break from it being on paper um, because I haven't been relying on it as much or if I needed to try something new, right? So for example, at Go Wild, they gave us these petite planners. I flipped through it. This is not necessarily my vibe anymore. I know when they first came out, I really liked them. I don't know. Again, I never say never, but if I were to pick up a daily planner, I'm not sure it would be the petite planner. Um, and as much as I like the A5 size, I also have like a daily duo that I, what did I plan like a couple of days in? There's my stencil. I've been looking for that for days. Um, and I'm just torn because let me find a couple of days that I planned in. I don't know where they're at. Um, <laughs> I'm just torn because I don't know that I necessarily need this size, but I like the size. I'm just really indecisive about one, if I need a daily planner, um, to the size that I might need. Because again, and this was also my thought, I could take the daily and mesh it together with my content planning because I don't need another month view with personal things on it, you know? And then you still have the dashboard so I could keep my content stuff over here but then if I'm not using it daily at all, I could keep my content stuff the way I currently have it in this weekly. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm kind of at. I'm on, I'm an indecisive alley right now, right? Like just, just so many, um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't do like a lot of stickering and things like that. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for the size and literally took what was in my Moxie life and put it over here to see how I felt about it. And... I, I really do like the size because for a couple of reasons, right? So I watched um, Saray plans. When I look at a planner, I also like to look um, towards other people that are using it um, and also have maybe the same or similar schedule as I do to see how they make it work for them, right? So I was looking at Saray's page and she actually has her day where she's able to split it in half which i don't really realistically see how i can do that in a much smaller planner um so that's where this was kind of coming in is that i could do like a um splitting of the middle down here and and all of that stuff really i'm just completely like not sure what i'm doing i think i know exactly what i want to do for my weekly <laughs> it's like i've got my weekly here's here's what i know i've decided on for now i've got my weekly and my goal setting slash memory keeping situation <laughs> down. <laughs> and that's really about it. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone else is in this season where it's like we're heading into spring. Um, you know, seasons change as far as like schedules, like even work schedules change and things like that. So it's like, I'm just, I'm just truly team undecided forever right um you guys will have to let me know if you're going through this as well um again like these are the only two things that i'm sure of is using these two together to get my life together complete my goals stay on task with my schedule but um all of these others might have to take like a back seat for right now because <laughs> i don't need all of that right i don't need all of that but i can get everything i need done with these two, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, that's really it for today's video. Like I said, this was more of just like a chit chat, kind of sit down, um, share what was on my mind as far as my planner lineup and how it was possibly changing, how it's evolving, um, because I really do believe that you're not meant to be stuck in the same planner for the entire year. Yes, that can work for some people, and yes, it has to work for some people. But for someone like myself, I personally love changing things up regularly. I really, really do. Um, and I love trying new things. So uh, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Maybe you have some planner advice for me. I would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already subscribed, make sure you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.